question for you. You know, we talked just a moment ago about what happens when you use a Floyd or Strat style fulcrum trim and the bridge shifts forward a tiny bit. Yeah. I say, who cares? Agreed. Um, but it makes me think about, you know, the, the lots of guys have asked me and some, some guys have, um, like, uh, uh, Zed was here and he was real into those ever tuned bridges mm -hmm. and the bridge that never goes out of tune and everything automatic. And I'm thinking, cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, in theory, um, or sort of like when guys say to me, Hey, I can't get my 23rd fret to intonate. Right. No one cares. I, I, you know, like if your guitar is a hundred percent perfect, how do you know that your bass players bass is 100% perfect? And how do you know that the rhythm guitar player's guitar is 100% perfect? And, and how much are you just kind of going through an exercise for the sake of going through an exercise? You, you know what I mean? Yep. Like, like how much of these, how much of that sort of nerdy guitar stuff is done for the sake of nerdy guitar stuff, worrying about stuff for the sake of worrying about stuff. But it's very academic, and the fact of the matter is nobody cares. I can see. I have a few friends that play that, like, jazz fusion, thousand miles an hour, all the frets, mm -hmm. all the strings, where when they're playing with other instruments that aren't guitars, everything needs to be, like, really as close as possible. Mm -hmm. But that's few and far. Not... Your blues jam on Friday night doesn't care. I think those are the guys, too, who worry about it the most. Well, yeah. The blues jam on Friday night, mm -hmm. guys. Yeah. It's, it's, there's a, there's a forum reading to guitar worry ratio that is very real. A, a what now? A forum reading mm -hmm. versus guitar worrying ratio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The less you worry, uh, the less you've been told about the guitar, the less you worry about it. And the yeah. more you play it, the less you worry about it. Okay. Uh, that's the way I feel. I, I, think, I think you're 100% right. Even though the, the name of my live stream tonight is Everything Dylan Talks Tone Says is Wrong, which I thought was really funny. Hey, if it gets people to watch. That's right. Yeah. And I've been wrong about a lot of things. Uh, well, not that I know of. So Joe asks, oh. pitch change? Well, yeah, I mean, so the modulation of pitch is what that... Ah, okay, so what Leo Fender got wrong... It's not a tremolo. Tremolo, tremolo is modulation of volume. Vibrato, Vibrato is modulation of pitch. So the exactly. Fender tremolo, which he... Well, at least he got it wrong across the board. Well, the problem is... So so the, oh, the Crimson and Clover uh, amp setting is yeah. called uh, a vibrato, vibrato on the amp. Or is it? It is. What's but yeah, a, doesn't he have a tremolo setting a, on an amp a too? Though? Channel and a vibrato channel. Is there mm -hmm. a tremolo setting on on a Fender amp ever? Okay, yeah, I, okay. No. No, the tremolo is the Whammy shirt. Yes, that's a it's great a shirt. Nice tremolo. And later amp builders called it, and pedals are called mm -hmm. tremolo pedals. Who calls it a vibrato? Bigsby, and everybody else yep. calls it a, a a tremolo. Bigsby calls it a vibrato. Yeah. yeah. I'll bet you that's. Because Fender wanted to try and outdo Big Speed. It could be. Do you think that was a kind of like a, a a thumbing your nose at? Yeah, because they had they were they knew each other. And yeah. They butted heads and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm sure it was a. He calls it that. There's no way I'm calling it that. Right. Kind of a thing. Yeah. Yeah. The man had to know. Yeah. Exactly. So Lefty O says Leo got it so wrong. Everyone calls it that. Yeah, and, and I'm not trying to say that um, uh, Leo Fender did not change the lexicon. Right. But in a in an accuracy yeah. uh, of, 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 what is it, etymology? Etymology. Uh, uh, that he, Leo Fender got that wrong. For okay. whatever reason, I don't know. Oh, and I can't stress this enough. I don't care. Me either. Um, Me either. But yeah. Um, it still goes like this. When you bend the thingy, that's why, it does the thing. That's why I think... Anytime you're referring to a contraption that alters the pitch by a lever, mm -hmm. you should call it a whammy bar. See, I don't like whammy bar. I like it even more now that I know you don't like it. 
Well, there you go. Okay, so what do you like? How if you what do you call? There's it? a thing you think I'm wrong about, mm. but I think you're wrong. Yes, you should change your change your thing right now to everything Matt says is wrong. Uh, hang on. Can you do that? I got a super chat. Oh, okay. I got a super chat, and I'm doing this by myself tonight. So. Okay, you're freewheeling. I am. Okay. Um, Leslie is over there, but I'm giving her the night off. So. Uh, hi everyone, enjoying the show. Thanks, Thomas Tourville. I appreciate the super chat. That's very kind um, of you. If you get questions in, like normal tonight, you can get them in there. It's going to be tough for me to catch them all because we are have a lot to talk about. Uh, if you use a super chat, I will see it though because it's a different color on my screen. I don't have a so. lot to talk about. I'll just talk a lot. Well, that is no <clears throat> problem with that. But we have we've been doing cool things. So okay, so. I think we should, and we should, this bears repeating in another eight or nine minutes. Yeah. Um, Paul McNary, by the way, says wiggle stick, which I think is a terrific one to go. Talent bar works well. Um, Talent bar. Dylan and I will be doing our uh, live streams simultaneously yeah. tonight. Yes. And we will be going from right now until six o'clock. Yep. Maybe 601. I don't know. And but. I realize that that means that most of you who watch both of them will be leaving Matt's channel and going over to my channel to watch. Because you, if, if you do that, it's because you want to be lied to and told <laughs> incorrect things. Now, if you want the, if you want the real facts, you'll stay right here on my channel. And, actually, actually, yeah. if you, if you are susceptible to clickbait, uh -huh. meaning you are gullible, uh -huh. you will stay on his channel. If, if you, you want to hear the absolute truth of if, what's going if on, if you this want week. to be entertained by someone who is sensational and tells the truth all the time, you'll stay right here <laughs> where you are on the Texas Toast channel. And if you want dull and boring and omnipresent oh, and incorrect, you'll go to Dell. No, no, hang on, I got another super. I've got jack crap for super. Thanks a lot, you turkeys. <laughs> not super chat. I just me. wanted to say thank you for the show. So. Some people have, have said in the past that when I come out here, it like derails my normal program. Mm -hmm. And it does. It does. Because I got in a van and I drove 1,500 miles yeah. to Colorado. And, you know, we, it upsets the apple cart a little bit. But yeah. I love coming here. I was just telling – Chris and I were trying to figure out today. I think this week means that I have surpassed the Dangerous Brothers – for the amount of weeks that no. they have been here. Yeah. Oh, well, but that's right, because you were here for an entire month. Yes. That's right. So I okay. am now the number one most repeated person around the shop because I like it. Yeah. I really have fun working with Matt and, and Chris. And we like to have and you uh, here, too, even though you're wrong all the time. But, oh, God bless you, Brian. Oh, Brian. What, what, is, what, is, uh, what, is, what this, is this, sir? You know, same hey, you know, it's whatever. Hey, your hair looks good, by the way. Wait, we should hey, keep, we should save this for, yeah. we should save these for two. Oh, um, I, well, I'm not going to get any super chats. Yeah, so, but yeah, if it's just, chugging, for, remember we did chugging. Yeah, 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 last yeah. Time. Hey, um, <laughs> uh, Bobby Dill says, "Hey, Matt, did you get my? Uh, did your case? Yes, Bobby, the case showed up, and um, I'm actually working on your certificate of awesometicity right now, and it will go. By the way, I haven't seen one of those Gibson cases for for the chainsaw one. Yes, yeah, very cool. Yeah, I haven't seen one of those in a long, long time. So you could put a chainsaw or a guitar. Yeah, so yes, I got it, sir, and um, we will get it boxed up. In fact, the guitar is in there right now, but I want to make sure that you get the uh, the cert because that's a cool thing. Can one of you bring me the little box with the cool thing that somebody got me earlier this week? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that thing right there. Leslie's going to bring it up for me. So uh, You made these, right? No. No. Brian. Who, who, who made these? Brad, Brian. Brad Guitar Miller. Yeah, Brad. Oh, no, Brad, Brad Guitar yeah, Miller. Yeah, sure, right. Brad Guitar Miller movies. Brad Guitar Miller. Brad Guitar Miller. That's right. Yeah, I apologize. Show, show him off. Oh, here we go. Doug, find, Doug, Doug saved me. Saved my bacon. And he sent us the super chat. He said, didn't work. Left hand doesn't work, but I'm still here. Doug, what happened to your hand? Hopefully it didn't get stuck in a machine. Or what happened? Doug says he's got a, a hypodermic and a hand and a square. Uh, Doug, I don't know what's wrong with your hand. But I'm I'm concerned. Um, I hope you're all right. Thank you for the super chat too, sir. Um, yikes! So I got these cool business card holders, right? 
But what's really cool about him, he knows that, first of all, one of my favorite pickup, favorite guitars is a single, single hum Strat. Mm -hmm. So he did a single, single hum Strat on top of a 4x12, uh, you know, yeah. amp there, which is one of them. And then he also made this little cutout batfish. Like, it's actually got the P90 and the little, and it's got the Texas Toast peghead on it. Mm-hmm. Which is really, really cool. The Texas Toast. Um, Th that's right. Wood, the, sweat, and the beers. Wood, sweat, and beers. Yeah, which yeah. is very excellent. Hey, so, so um, anyway, I before, just before, you, before you deep dive into the box of, box of good stuff nope, here. No, that was it. I just want to share that. Oh, okay. Yeah. We, got, we got a really excellent question. And I'd be interested to know what you think. I would be interested to know how you perceive this incorrectly. Um, Richard Edwards asks, are stack pickups like Seymour Duncan single coil or P90 stacked? Really, just cleverly marketed humbuckers, or can you actually can you really get a true P90 or single coil tone? So I would like to know what you think, and then I'll tell everyone why you're wrong. I think you should tell everyone what you think. Okay. Because then, if I agree with you, does that default make you wrong? If it I would, agree with you, yeah. <laughs> so, so, um, all right. So I, that's a, all right. Let's do that. So, Richard, I think that's a terrific question. And um, I'm going to say that it's just a cleverly marketed humbucker that fits in the hole that you have in your guitar. And you can come close to getting that P90 sound, but it ain't the same. I agree with him 100%, and we are not wrong. Yeah. They're terrible. Yeah. Um, uh, but you know what? I think they're cool if you have hum canceling. They have a place. Yeah, yeah. They have a place. But I don't. They but do. I don't think that they. I don't think that they're they're the same thing. Doug says he just has arthritis. Doug, I'm sorry to hear that, man. That's that's a bummer. Uh, which do you prefer, 50s wiring or treble bleed on modern wiring? Uh, on in what? Anything. Do you like 50s wiring, like uh, like in a in an Esquire, or a Les Paul? Oh, I oh so I on a on a Les Paul, I like it to be just. I like it just as is, volume, volume, tone, no split coil, this, that, or the other thing. Mm -hmm. um, um, it's not split coil. No coil isolation. Right, right. On a humbucker. On a Telecaster, I like the uh, treble bleed. Really? Yeah. And uh, any any one pickup guitar, like on uh, on on Jim Jam Jimmy's uh, Prostitute, we did a treble bleed mod with a DiMarzio Super Distortion because that's what we had slated for that guitar. And he wanted like a... He wanted a P90. He wanted a Lawler P90. This was before he knew you. And um, and I'm like, well, a Lawler P90 won't fit in there because it's got a humbucker hole. But trust me, I think you're really going to like this. And he, when when he modulates the volume, it that treble bleed circuit because it just got one knob. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It, it works great. And I I I will go to my grave saying that if you have one pickup in your guitar. It should either be or be voiced and identically built like a DiMarzio Super Distortion, which you call the Super D. Mm -hmm. Okay. I um, don't like treble bleeds in single pickup guitars. My example would be my SG, my Gibson SG Junior with a dog ear P90 in it. Okay. Um, or an Esquire because I like that the highs sort of go away. As now, those are single coil guitars though. How do you feel about a humbucker equipped guitar? Um, I've never really. Oh wait, I do have one. Um, I would have to get back to. I would have to try playing with that some more. Okay. I do have a single. My Machine Gun Kelly pink guitar is a single humbucker, and I think it does have a treble bleed on oh. it. But that has a volume knob, and I just. Make it wide open with lots of gain. That's what that guitar does. And that's and there's yeah. no reason to do anything else. So I don't really, I've not really thought about it that much. We have two Nebraska Nebraska dogs in the house. Hi Beth, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. Good. Yeah. No, that's cool. So now uh, that it's five o'clock. Yeah. Okay. So it is five o'clock, and why don't you tell everyone what we're up to, sir? Well, we are. I am at Texas Toast Guitars. Well, you are as well. Hey, everybody. This is Matt, and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. We got Dylan from Dylan Talks Tone, who's always wrong, to my left, you are right. Yep. And um, I'm wrong a lot, but it doesn't really matter because I'm just having fun. I thought and you were going to like totally WWF with me on this. Oh, uh, okay, well, yeah. you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> anyway, we are here, obviously. And so we're doing our live stream just a little bit differently. We've got two cameras. We're going out to both channels at the same time. 
Uh, so if you're on Texas Toast and you've decided you are tired of clickbait, come on over to mine. Or if you're on Dylan's channel and you're decided of hearing a bunch of decided you're done hearing a bunch of wrong crap, come on over to my my channel. Yeah, there you go. So um, we wanted to talk about why I'm here. Yeah. How cool it was and yeah. how cool it's going to be in the future. That's right. So this is oh one thing though. Okay. Um, we will be, we have a hard stop time of 6.03. Okay. <clears throat> ish. Okay. Because you and I and everybody here, uh, we're all going to Odyssey Beer Works and we're going to hang out and have some beers with, uh, the good people at Odyssey Beer Works, the great American Beer Works. And, uh, and some other people might be there too. I forget who they're. Oh, of course. It's Jim, Jim, Jimmy and Leslie Kologia. I don't even know who else. I didn't even, be. I reached into the drawer pulled out the t-shirt really and this was it it's just <laughs> and this was it yep yep so so we're gonna so we're doing our live stream simultaneously mm -hmm. tonight and you're not gonna do another one for another hour after correct done here, yeah so. yeah yeah it, it's just yeah this this week has been very action-packed and uh Working all day in a row is hard and then working all day in a row like all week in a row all day in a row is really hard um, the, the, uh, the Duncan boys are, uh, are, 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 yeah, they're, they've, they've declared war on Texas toast. Uh, no, they haven't. But, but Ben says, did you catch the, the, the stream where, where Dylan suplexed me? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's easier, you know, in, in wrestling, in the wrestling world, it's easier to be a heel than it is to be a pretty boy. There's a bunch of people in my comments saying, we know you're right all the time. Oh, wow. Oh, that's right. cool. Cause I didn't. <laughs> What a bunch of yes men you have. I didn't know People I tell right me I'm wrong time. all the time. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. So, um, so, okay. So, I I didn't mean to preempt you, mm -hmm. but I did, and I will probably continue to do so. What are you? What What's the big idea? What 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 are you doing here this week? I know. Well, we came out to do. What is it? Build an awesome guitar with the the name of the workshop is Ultimate Guitar Build with Dylan McCurchin. Okay, yes. And um, because of circumstances beyond people's control, um, there were a couple of folks that couldn't make it, but they were like, can you please still build the guitar? Mm -hmm. um, and then we have one uh, folk, one person, um, Mark, who came from California. And you will meet tomorrow. Yep. During the During reveal. the reveal, 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 reveal. Uh -huh. And um and he came and he was able to do a bunch of stuff. Really, really, really neat guitar. Wait till you see it. So Mark showed up Tuesday afternoon. Mm -hmm. We had already done his body. Mm -hmm. Um, but he was able to do wound his own pickups. Yep. Did all of his own hemispherical frets, which takes a while. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a challenge, especially if you. I'm not. I don't know if Mark's ever pressed in frets prior to yesterday, but if you've never done fret work, hemispherical fret work is is a big big undertaking. So. Yeah, for sure, for sure, it's a it's a big deal. Um, so it was really fun, and I think we. Are in the process of building one, two, three, four, four or five guitars. Oh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, sir. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So it's going to be quite the reveal uh, tomorrow. Now, some of them will be done. Yep. Some of them will not be done. Right. We actually, we, 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 um, but we've got a lot of neat stuff to show everybody. Yes. One of them is coming home with me to get finished, which is yeah. really, really Maybe cool. Maybe two. Maybe two. Yeah. So, yeah. And what was really fun about this, and I will say a couple of things. One is it is was a little different not having the excitement and the hubbub of five or six guys mm -hmm. all week. So you kind of miss that, which in the next one is almost full, right? We have... It's five, that's, five out of that's seven right. places the, or something are full. The next one is March 2023, mm -hmm. and it's almost full. There might be one or two spots left, mm -hmm. one maybe. So so we didn't miss out on that because I've been here for those where it's just full and everybody's it's it's crazy. House, yeah. It's super fun. 
Um, but what was really fun is during those, I don't actually ever really get to do anything because uh-huh. I'm focused on what I'm focused on. And so um, people are like, do you actually ever do anything when you go there? Have you actually ever really built a guitar? Well, um, that's right. The fact of the matter is on Monday and Tuesday, you and I were pin routing and yeah. sanding and, and doing a bunch of yeah. kind of grunt stuff. Um, and and Brandon didn't even come in on the no, first I half was, of the day. I was Tuesday. sanding we had to Brandon work really hard. Yeah. Yeah. And Normally, Brandon does all the super hard work, and we had to do it on Tuesday. We, yes. we had a pretty good assembly line going. We did. I take a body, I do a thing, hand it off to him. He does the next thing. I take the next. But we, it was really, really fun. We had a good time. Yeah. Um, I did. I didn't get to paint because I was uh, doing some other stuff. Actually, with by that time, Mark was here, and we were winding pickups. So, mm-hmm. um, but, but we did go to Emo's and, get, and source the coolest of the cool yes. Emo Custom Blue. Yes. I think that this reveal uh, is going to be, well, it's going to be unlike any other reveal you've ever, uh-huh. you've ever done. Uh-huh. I don't want to blow it for anybody. This is going to be a cool surprise, but it's unlike any you've ever done. But I think it's going to hopefully show the folks who may be on the edge of, do I want a Texas Toast guitar or not? Or do I want to come to or a workshop? Or do I want to come to a workshop? But somehow I have to have one of those. Yep. I think yep. this is going to be one of those reveals. I mean, they all are, but this is really a unique one, and it's mm-hmm. really neat. I agree, sir. I'm really excited about it. So, do you have any questions? I, I have some questions. Here. Go for it. So, Richard Carpenter asks, "How can I get the 45 degree router bit for my SG double neck guitar I'm building? Can you use stains over grain filler?" So, a couple different questions there, Richard. Um, any 45 degree router bit should work. Uh, though I'm not 100% sure the SG is a 45 degree, uh, I think it's 30. Um, and if you're asking where can you get the one that Steve from Maximum Guitar Works <laughs> uses, well, you have to get that from Steve. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. Steve won't sell you that bit unless you buy his template set from him. Right. Now, I am I don't have any juice at Maximum Guitars. It's Steve's Steve's deal. He had to make... He designed that rub collar bearing, if you will, right. to work with his template set. He started with a regular router bit, and he had to make a special. He had to. Ha- Here's it, how wacky Steve is. Yeah, he had to design and build and have built a special bearing that was exactly the right size as that bit that would work with his template set and had a half inch shaft. Um, so he won't just sell you the bit unless you buy the template set. Now, yeah. don't shoot me cause it's not, I, I, I'm just telling you if you send a thing to Steve and say, Hey, I want that bit. Can I just get the bit? I think he's going to say no. Also I'll time stamp it on the thing. I think he's going to say no. I don't know if he's gonna, but I think he's gonna. Go also, ahead. I think that if you get that bit <clears throat> thinking that you are going to Bandsaw out a square edged SG and then run that bit around it. The results will not be what you think they are because that uh, yeah, that template not. that template is a funky shape to make it go in and out of the guitar at the right place. It's a very thought out thing. It's not just running it around the outside. Uh, of the and guitar. I'm not saying you can't do it right. or you won't be able to do it but the fact of the matter that. is that if you can figure out how to do that you can probably figure out how to figure out what yeah. angle the bit is and make your own bit yeah. but but having said that it is my understanding that Steve does not have any interest in selling the bit right to the exclusion of the template set at this point it, right. in, in the future that might be different but yeah yep so um yeah it's a really neat system. I was here in May when you were prototyping that. And mm-hmm. It was. I, I really actually neat. I felt cool about that because you were here. Steve hadn't even done it. Yeah. I was the first person to get to yeah. try that out, and it works great. And I just remember thinking that like there was a couple of pieces to the template, but one of the pieces of the template that goes with that is this thing that when you first go oh that's the outline of an sg but you mm-hmm. look at it and it's not it's sort of lopsided it's and wonky. weird 
And the reason it is, is so that when you put that bit around the outside, because an SG is not have the same angle yeah. around all of its, it's not faceted it equally it, yeah. all the way around. So to do that, it was a really interesting thing. And, and those templates have worked so well. Uh, Doug Santaniello, who says that the workshops are priceless. Thank you, Doug. Um, Doug is, is far and away one of the neatest people, way neater than Brian Duncan. Um, <laughs> no, no, we love Doug and we love Brian too, but, but, um, um, Doug and Mike, no, the guy I called Mike, but his name was actually the donut guy, the donut and, but we, so Mike, Mike made one, Doug, so Mike made an SG, Doug made an SG and the other Ben, that's the true two bands. Yeah, okay. I, I thought it was Ben, but I'm like, no, that can't be right. So anyway, Ben, Doug, and Mike in our last Build Your Build a Classic Guitar Woodworking Workshop all made SGs, and they all turned out super, yeah, super cool. cool. Yeah, really um, cool. So let's take a couple Super Chats if we can. So, sure. Um, Jerry F. sent a Super Chat. It just says, Jerry F., thank you so much, sir. Doug says, I just might help you with buying one. I'll pay half. I'm not sure what that, what that goes to, but yeah, um, Doug... Doug Doug is wildly generous. Um, uh, Doug Slacker Deluxe says, can't wait for the most anticipated reveal ever. Ooh, wow. That's he said neat. it. We didn't. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Matt, may I? Yeah, of course. So Doug's, Doug's comment. Well, hold on. Will you come to talk in the microphone? Oh, sure. Doug's comment was in regard to Chris's comment. That he said, I would love to. I would love a TT guitar, but my wallet says no. Chris Morris. No way. It ain't happening. Okay. Oh. Said, wow. So, Chris, if you are still watching, <laughs> you might not believe this, but Doug's not bullshit. No, he's not. He's no. An amazing man. This he is, is this would yeah. be, and if he did this with you, this would be the fourth or fifth time that he has done something like this. Yeah. Doug is very generous and super super cool and super genuine yeah. about it. Yeah, he, he's absolutely the one of one of the coolest guys. Yeah, so, way cooler than than Brian. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I I agree. I, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Poor Brian. Brian's here, so he's he's taking a <laughs> clubbing. Yeah. Somebody in my comments said, uh, or in my chat says that, even though he said he's from Colorado. Yeah, and he gives me permission to drink whatever beer I like, even though. How, do Do you like to drink um, um, uh, Colorado? Uh, what, what 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 is this, Chris? This is the, the original craft beer. Craft, yeah, you like craft beer the from original Colorado? Craft yeah. beer. Yeah. 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 They only this is the here. banquet edition. Yeah. They only make it here. You can't. You can't you get go this someplace else and buy it. It was made in Golden. That's pretty cool. I have no. You like you like Mike, you like micro it. brews? Yeah. This is it, baby. Yeah, it's just it's brew. it's macro brew it's now. Macro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like things in Golden, Colorado. So, gang, we are uh, Dylan and I are here to answer your questions and tell you a little bit more about what we are up to this week. And um, we will only be on until we have a hard stop time of six oh seven ish. Okay. Five fifty nine ish. Six oh three when you. Start. I know it was yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of hungry people here. So yeah, they probably yeah. Better not go. So um so anyway, Dylan, what what else can we tell people without? I, I don't I don't care if we you know spoil the reveal. Well, I'll show everything. I'll show everything off today. But but we probably should wait until tomorrow. Yeah, I think so. Um, I will say that. Well, let's just say this. <clears throat> we knew that when we came up with this idea to make these guitars, mm -hmm. uh, this workshop. At this price point, with all these cool parts, that these guitars were going to be cool. Yeah. The problem is, is that Matt and I were alone in the wood shop with nobody else for a couple hours on Monday. No supervision. With no supervision. And when that happens, things get cooler and harder for Chris. <laughs> <laughs> We were. Really? We were, yeah. yeah. That's right. You were working on other, yeah, other projects. On other stuff. On yeah, other I, stuff. Yeah, I'd wander in and, and uh, all of a sudden there was... Hey, yeah, wouldn't it be cool if... There was five guitars. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't yeah. it be cool if... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, what's that, that looks a little like a like a Strat trim route. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're going to... Uh, yeah, we're going to do this. Well, we tested a new route from Steve. 
yep. uh, for a new strat trend. Yep. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Yep. And we man. did. Uh, I haven't even told you about what our coffee table discussions have been. Oh, no. That's I, it's too early. Yeah. It's too early yeah. for even Chris on that one. And then a couple of the other things, um, you know, with the, the bad fish builds uh, looked very telly ish. And I think they got a lot. Cl- we even classed them up even a little bit better. And uh, I believe, in my opinion, that there is a highly anticipated and requested guitar design, at least on your channel, that tens or even maybe fives of people have been asking for. Guitar designs? Yeah. The, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Are, that are now going to be right. a, they're a reality. You're right. I mean, you're wrong, it's, but you're right. Yeah, it's yeah. a real thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's probably fives of people that want it. Easily. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, Easily. Yep. And so we built one. So we have, yeah, uh, it's been the first couple days where it was basically Chris left us alone to do whatever we would come up with. Mm-hmm. And and we built one of the Batfish <clears throat> models. Yep. And then we built some other ones that we kind of went off the, the, the yeah. plan a little bit. And I, I, I think you are right, even though you're wrong. Um, what do you think is going to be the first thing people say tomorrow when we start showing these things off? I think they're going to say that the recently released, highly anticipated, but somewhat disappointing for many guitar that we have been talking about all week. Uh huh. These are better than that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But 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 you you and I have talked about this. I think a lot of people will say, well, "I didn't know you could do that." Yeah, I, I, I would have done that. Yeah, I would have yeah. done something like that. If we, yeah. if you were going to let me do that at this workshop, I would have come. And 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 at no point, I I went through the website and looked at the description. At no point is there ever anything that says no, you can't do this A thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and yeah, I'm... if you, I, I I think that when we show off these guitars, they'll be very similar and very different, and and. There's going to be some neat, neat stuff. Yeah. No two ways about it. Yeah. I am really excited about it. I it's. I mean, I was excited to come out here anyway. In fact, you know, a few folks couldn't make it and stuff. And he was like, are you, you, were, happen, you were like, are you going to still come? And I'm like, I'm coming. I mean, I told people I was coming. I'm coming. And you so we were, can't. you, you and I are the same, cut from the same cloth in, in this regard, where if we say we're going to do something, we do it. And, and you were, you were adamant that look i said i was going to be there i'm going to be there and 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 it was and and not to mention you picked up your whole house and moved it out here but not the whole house but you but i mean you but i mean you and leslie came out and you Mm -hmm. you took time away from your family and 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 you came out here and are spending the week with us and and it doesn't matter if it's for you know, one, one guy person or five or, people. Or, or, or a hundred people. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I'll still come. Let's yeah. take a couple of super chats. Shall we do it? Um, Greg Pearl says he found a super chat lying around. Buy more macro beer. Oh, God bless you. Thanks, Greg. man. Um, uh, and, and Mark Stanton, I don't know who that guy is, but I think he's a little upset that I've been giving Brian the business and he wants me to show, throw some shade at him. Maybe not. He says, thank you so much for your help and insight, and you and Leslie are fantastic. I think Mark thinks he's on your channel. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Chris Hendricks care. writes, uh, he needs he needs a Kaiser blade with a Bigsby in his life. Now, Mark, uh, what say ye about the Kaiser blade with the Bigsby? You played it a little bit yesterday. Fantastic. It's boss, right? Yeah. The finish is amazing. It's Wait, you have cool. one yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna have to play that. I didn't yeah. know it. All right, I'll yeah. I'll check it out tomorrow. I didn't have to. I didn't know that was a okay. thing. Chris, if you want to just start paying it off a little at a time, please let me know. I I'm I'm more than happy to uh, help you out. Yeah, that's cool, man. So yeah, uh, yeah, the red one. Yeah, it's 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 badass. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. I'm trying to see if we have any questions over here, but we don't. People are just watching in awe. Well, so why don't why don't we talk about? Tell you what, why don't you talk a little bit about? Hey, Chris, you want to you come sit where I'm sitting? No. Come on. I need to get another beer anyway. So why don't you, why don't you come sit? I'll sit for a few minutes. Yeah, what do you sit. want me to talk with Chris about? I don't know. Whatever you want to talk about. 
Freewheeling, boys. Yeah, you're just freewheeling, right? Just yeah. Just do what Matt does. Yeah, just, just start talk, yapping. Just talk shit. Just talk shit. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Chris. I'm gonna out talk you, Dylan. I'm the nice one. I didn't wear that shirt today, but I am the nice you one. You did wear right? it yesterday. I did wear it yesterday. Yes. Yeah. So how you been? Uh, yeah. Well, I've, so I've been pretty good. <laughs> yeah. That's all I got. Uh, why am I sitting so high? So what have you been doing this week? Well, the first day and a half. Um, I actually worked on uh, other projects and just kind of let you guys do what you guys do. Wait, you mean the people that are like, "Hey, where's my guitar? Is it yeah. done uh -huh. yet?" You yeah. were working on those ones. Yeah, and I got, mm -hmm. I got, I got some stuff done. Yeah, and then, uh, and then I think it was time to paint guitars. Mm -hmm. So we did, we did some paint, and then I've been doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Yep. It's yep. it's weird because it, it's just weird this week. It is, it is, because there's only, there's, there's less people here. Yeah. And yeah. so it's, um. So I'm, it feels more like a regular work week, except you're here, uh -huh. except you've been here so much, it still feels like a regular work week. It just feels like an off week with you here, like last time when you were here and it was, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't have class, but you're here. I feel so. much lighter because I didn't bring a month worth of stuff. Yeah. It, that was... Oh my word, that was a thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I got a super chat over okay, here. Good. Hang on. Oh, there's, this... from, there's a question from Mike too. Uh, uh, from Evil Real Life. Oh, Mark yeah? Stanton said, "Oops, he is now on the correct channel." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mark, channel. for the super chat. I appreciate that very much. So, uh, Mike Manthe wants to know, Dylan. Question: My TT Junior is my favorite guitar, and your pickups are killer. But super noisy in big Chicago bars with lights. Can you make a similar pickup in a mini humbucker or P90 so you don't have to mod the guitar? I might be able to help with this question. Go ahead. Um, actually, let me ask this of Mike. Mike, is it noisy in the middle position as well? That's a good question. Okay, let's find out. We'll find out here in a minute. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what else? Ben had a question. Okay. What pickups y'all making this week? How many pickups? What kind? Oh, um, so so this time you didn't bring everything. Everything you brought exactly what you knew we were going to build, right? And you actually shipped a bunch of it out to us, and uh, so we made a bunch of P90s mm -hmm. and one Tele pickup. One Tele pickup, and uh, we rewound one Yamaha pickup. That's right, and we rewound another weird single coil that you may see in the future. Yeah, prototype. Yeah, right? uh huh. Yeah, we had enough wire to do some stuff, but we didn't have necessarily yeah. enough hardware. Yeah. So, yeah, so it was pretty P90 specific this time. Yep. One of the guitars that is going to get a incomplete reveal tomorrow has humbuckers in it, but those are placeholders because I'm going to take that thing home with me and mm -hmm. we're going to put some neat stuff in it. Because um, it's a, I would say it's a new thing that y'all haven't really done much of before, that uh -huh. that one. Uh-huh, yeah. But I think it will be a hit. Yeah, I think so. I think it will yeah, be a hit. Yeah, so, I think everybody's going to like what we did. <clears throat> yeah, so that's going to get some humbuckers, but next week and or the week after, and it's going to get some a video and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so we can go back. Uh, Mike Manthe says, uh, yes, it's noisy. Even buckers are noisy. Um, Mike also says those are the great. The, so Those P90s are the greatest P90s I've ever had. So, yeah, so here's the thing cool. I would say about that is if the guitar is noisy, but you have a like a humbucker guitar that's noisy too. Um, you might want to look at. They have some kind of neat things like um, noise suppressor plugs, like, like where you plug it in the gate. wall. Yeah. Oh. And uh -huh. then you plug the amp into it, and it it's like a block about this big. I can't remember what they're called. It's not an attenuator, but it's something like that. Yeah. You plug it into the wall first. It's like a, a brick, and then you plug your amp into it, and it's. To calm down the power that's oh, that that you're. Well, calls it a brick. it's not an attenuator because that's huh? for power. This is um, it's to clean up the power. But I can't oh. remember what it's called. Anyway, check that out. And then yeah, you might have to go with some noise gate stuff. But here's the thing too. Noise gates aren't uh, what they were. Power conditioner. Power conditioner. conditioner. Power conditioner. Oh, that's okay. what I meant. Yeah. Um. Noise gates, if you have to use one on your pedal board, they're not what they were in 1985. Yeah. They're a lot better. 
Oh, yeah. You know, okay. They're they're a lot better than they were, you know. So. Yeah. So we got a super chat. Uh, Bobby Dill says owning a Texas toast can change your life, much like the old potato chip commercial. Bet you can't own just one. <clears throat> it's true. So has anyone heard of a cycle conditioner? It's. It, I'm, I'm saying because SS said that, and and he's usually full of crap. So yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. I know that there is an actual branded one. Yeah, he could, that you he could buy. be totally right. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, I don't know. And at that point, if if you know, shielding might be your friend. A little shielding might go a long way. Yeah. Um, stuff like that. Yeah. I'd say I'd I, say a, a tuner, and in between songs, you step on that. Yeah. Yeah. And then and let, let that thing eat. When I think you, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Embrace the embrace the hum. Yeah. Maybe. That's I don't what know. I would do. Yeah. But I, I'm weird like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, anytime you have a bunch of extra stuff in there, you know, an extra coil or this or that, you start losing some of the original sound. Here's a question for you, Chris, because okay. you nerd out about this stuff. Jeffrey Egan wants to know, he wants to know what I think, uh -huh. but I don't care. Okay. <laughs> so, so you might, you might and I might not. Okay. Uh, do you notice a difference in tone between round core and hex core strings? No. Me either. Um, no, I think so much of string is is the actual feel of the string. Um, I like I like nickel wound stuff. Okay. Um, I like yeah as, as much nickel as I can get in a string, but I can't tell a difference between those two things. Me either. Um, yeah, and that's and 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 it's not like I I've gone back and forth with a bunch of them, but I have gone back and forth with uh, dr. Round core and hex core nickel strings. The blue um, ones. Yeah, the blue. Yeah. yeah, and then their other one is the uh, comes in a black box, and I can't remember what that one is. Yeah, so DR blues. Those mm -hmm. are my favorite strings, just because they're fairly economical, and I can get them, and I like the way they feel mostly. Um, and then their other ones, the black ones. I think it's the stay tight is what they call that one. Stay but, tight. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, because they do off all like tight wound, tight bond, tight. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Tight. So, we have a bunch of. But I can't. I can't tell a difference between any of that. Me stuff. either. So if you really want to have some fun and get really nerdy, buy a bunch of flat wound strings and nerd out over that because those things are wildly different. Have you ever put nickel wound strings on an acoustic guitar? They there is one brand and I can't. No. I can't remember who it is. But they. They make nickel wound acoustic guitars. They're actually acoustic yeah. guitar strings, like twelves, okay. thirteens, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, they feel and sound really weird. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. But they're it's you know weird nerds. I think I might like the wound G. I play heavy enough strings that I think I might like the wound G better than the plain G. Really? Yeah, because the plain G on those heavy heavy sets is like a wire, like a <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a piano like, wire, like like, piano like wire. I could catch yeah. Jaws with that string. Um, so yeah, the wound G is. Kind of cool, I think. Then you have to get a different bridge. Change no, you just move the. You, we just move the saddles. Yeah, I guess that's true. It Change depends on the, on the. I got a super chat. Sure. Super light Yeah. Well, yeah. You. I'm. Well, so that's what I do. If if I, uh, I I, if I'm playing regular strings or unwound G, I have like 18s that I can put on instead of the 21 that that, that it comes with. 21 pla plain G. That's a string, man. You could tow a car with that string. So Ivan sent in a super chat, and he says that you can use a UPS power backup to clean up your power supply. Yeah. I have done that. A UPS? Yeah. I don't so know what that is. So when we lived in the motorhome, we got one because power would go out all the time, mm -hmm. and, and Leslie would lose internet during work. Oh, okay. And it's one of those battery things, but it's an isolated, because it's a battery thing, it takes a, the power from the wall, runs it into a battery, and mm -hmm. then it runs it back out. Oh, okay. So it isolates the power from the wall. Oh, okay. Uh huh. So you're just running, really, you're just running on the battery. Basically. Yeah. Yeah, and it keeps it a lot quieter. Oh, okay. As long as you don't get a cheap one that introduces other kinds of noise. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yep. I've never had to really battle any of this. One time we played a, a venue that, um, if I didn't play in the middle position on my Jazz Master, it was really noisy. But other than that, I've never had to really battle any of that kind of stuff. To where I was like constantly like, ah, what am I going to do? When you so. say battle it, I'm just like, if you can hear hum, you're not rocking hard enough. Yeah. Well, it was this was really, really bad. Um, but that was the only time. And everything else I've always been, okay, yeah, it's, you know, it's 
it's noisy in between, but that's okay. As soon as you start playing again, then it's fine. So. Gary Redburn sent in a super chat. And in his little, do you see in his little head thing, he's got a cool hat on like Matt's hat. Uh-huh. Um, Dylan, are That's, you doing? I have, I have his hat. Yeah. I know. Are you doing the live show on Monday or are you going to postpone it? Did you guys hide all the prostitutes yesterday when the popo came? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. Um, that was the whole point of that thing is, yeah. Gary Redburn, I am not postponing our Patreon live hangout on Monday. We are still doing it. From somewhere in the Midwest, we will be somewhere Monday night, and I will be doing it still. Um, hey, speaking of which, if you're going to be in the Chicagoland area, yeah, see if Mike Manthini wants to hook up. Is it Mon Mon Montai? Montai, because he's right there Montai. and super sure. super cool. Really? And yeah, he's got a studio in his place, and yeah, yeah, really? Mike's the man, yeah. Wow, I wonder how long Rumor his driveway it. is. Rumor has it he likes to buy guitars. I've been there. I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Chicago, like, the house, like, the whole oh, right on. Yeah. yeah Mike's, Mike's place is neat. We are making a bit of a whirlwind trip through there because we've already been gone for a week. But I, I, we may shoot me an email or something. That, that'd be interesting. Um, as far as the prostitutes, they were that was fake guns. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was Just all fake on. guns. They were sim munitions. Sim munitions. Yeah, because we opened we, the door and I actually waved to him and I think one of them waved back. So, did they, so they weren't concerned with what we were doing in here. No, as soon at as all. I as soon as I opened the door, I knew they weren't concerned. For those of you that have not on. seen Matt's Instagram, the SWAT team was across so, the street. They yesterday. had all the vehicles. That's Everything. what the cool part was. It was yeah, four or five uh, patrol cars and the SWAT vehicles. At least two of them, maybe three of them. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, and a, a bunch of guys, guys standing around, and the guys, you you can tell when when something's going down, when something's not. So yeah, we yeah. walked outside, and they were doing they were doing checks, and they were like, "That's not a real gun, right?" That's what they were doing. They were you could see when we were leaving that they were like everybody was checking each other to make sure that they were all semi munitions. I thought they were here for the guy that pooped in the bucket. God. Maybe they were here for the guy that peed on your sidewalk. Well, he's here tonight. They missed him by uh, 24 <laughs> hours. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah. As, I'd forgotten that they do that stuff over there. So, so yeah, they had a bunch of dogs, too, right? What do you think Gary Redburn means when he says, cool, because he's talking about Monday night. Uh huh. Cool, I have a couple of questions, and you need to see the body I have. I've seen it. He's gonna get naked. Uh, I've seen him. I've he's seen pro him he's probably talking about a guitar, I would yeah. hope. Mm -hmm. I think. Yep. Otherwise, I'm turning his camera. Yep. For those of you who don't know, every fourth Monday of every month, um, on the Dylan Talks Tone Patreon, we do like a live Zoom hangout thing where you can turn your camera on and hang out and do this, but it's e it's better because it's you know back and forth, and if you have a problem. You can turn your camera on and we troubleshoot guitar problems and stuff like that. It's mm -hmm. kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway. We yep. have three thumbs down Franks over here. I don't know really? what the deal is with that. Man, is, and I think it's because of me. We have none. Really? We have, we have 40 thumbs up. And I have three thumbs down Franks. 35. See, if, if, if those guys would be a little more, you know, like uh, positive... You'd have thirty-eight, and we'd have forty, and that'd be oh. Well, now we have forty-seven. So, See, yeah, you're you're just chasing tail here. Well, it, what it is is, I think people they they get used to a certain format, yeah. And they turn it on, and they don't see uh -huh. the particular format, yeah. Um, I think too, what a lot of people have a misconception that I'm a very serious guitar person. You are. And I'm not at all. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, wait, he's laughing and having fun. Having he must fun. be drunk. With those with those yeah. idiots. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I think that's, he must I think be that's drunk. Thing. No, not uh -huh. really. No. I can't stand it when Dylan makes a video when he's high. I'm like, I don't get it. When he's high. Yes. Yeah. That, I've never that seen that. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. That, it's it, we talked about that the other day, the 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 conclusions people jump to. 
Mm -hmm. you know, based on absolutely nothing. Yeah. So it's okay. It is. Do we got any other questions in here? Um, I'm not used to being on this side of the camera where I can actually see the questions. Like you have a super chat side. Yeah, we did just get a super chat. Uh, Simtree says, uh, "Cheers from Vancouver, BC." Thank cool, man. you. Very cool. Yeah. yeah very cool. Um, yeah. So I'm not used to reading comments and commenting. I'm at the same time. Let's me be either. honest. I'm not actually used to uh, commenting. Well, Leslie usually runs this stuff for me. Uh huh. Yeah. And so we're she both does doing a the really job good job that we're not uh, accustomed to. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. That sounds right. Yeah. Uh huh. I've been doing jobs that I'm not accustomed to all week. Yeah. Yeah. Sanding but it's fun, stuff. right? Sanding and yeah. And uh, yeah. Digging Thinking. through piles of parts. I wired like I think four or five guitars today. Mm-hmm. Which that I can do. But. That's one of the weird things about this week, and it's the number one weird thing is is we didn't think that Mark was actually even going to be here because at first he happened. wasn't able to make it. Yeah. And then so he so last Friday we start cleaning up, and then word comes down, Dylan's coming, mm-hmm. and that's it. And we're like, well, we don't need to clean. I I heard. I actually heard him on the phone yeah. say, Brandon, guess what? You don't need to clean yeah, the shop. Yeah, yeah, stop. Stop what you're doing now. Don't and, clean uh, the yeah, shop. Yeah, do not clean. Any. In fact, we won't all be that able stuff to find that you already anything. put away, bring it back <laughs> it out. Back Drag out. it back out. Yeah, put it, spread it around a little bit. Yeah, hide some of it. Um, and uh, <laughs> so, so so the shop's a, kind of a mess. It's, it's the normal piles of stuff that happen. And, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we've cleaned off some areas, but, and then as we, as the week goes on, it gets worse and worse and worse. So, so yeah. Well, I'm excited though, because I think we, uh, have been successful. We're still tweaking on a couple of little things to make sure that yeah they're going to be here in time and come in time and be done in time and all that kind of stuff. That's the other thing is we've been building a lot, a lot, a lot of guitars and getting a lot of stuff finished up Mm -hmm. and Parts are thin. Well, they can areas. be, and and mm-hmm. sometimes you think, oh yeah, we got a ton of that stuff, and then you think back and you're like, well, yeah, I built ten guitars in the last week, including these, and uh, yeah, yep, I only had nine output jacks. I better yep. dig. So, yep. yeah, I was noticing that too. The the almost completed pile mm-hmm. is bigger than I've ever seen it. Like you guys are cranking out some stuff. Yeah, we're we're really trying, and uh, yeah, there's a there's a lot of uh, completed stuff. There's a lot of almost completed stuff. Uh, Brad Guitar Miller says, "Looking forward to being there less than a month away." I know. Cool. That's crazy. Yep. You know, a lot of people call Brad the Space Cowboy. Do they call him Maurice? I think they do sometimes. There you go. <laughs> so dumb. Was he the one that made those? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. These are so cool, man. I want one. I'm excited to put. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take your suggestion, and I'm actually gonna bolt them to. I'll probably drill a hole in the bottom uh-huh. and bolt them to a little wider thing. Yeah. Something nice. Maybe. Well, ooh, you know what you need to bolt it to is like some sort of uh, uh, wiring um, template. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You could have several different ones in this on there. And then you could look up and yeah, maybe even get a bigger uh, bigger screen. I think I think an iPad would actually help. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. too. Yep. Super Not cool. that you need any help with wiring diagrams. I don't know what I was thinking. You know, I look at wiring diagrams every time I wire something. Do you? I do. Except for tellies. Yeah, tellies except for, yeah, stuff that you Tellies are wire. easy. Yeah. You want your space back? But... It, Dave. Oh, Dave Hawkinson says, uh, cheers, guys. Thanks, Dave. Oh, thanks, Dave. And Brian Duncan says, woohoo. Because I got... Because you got your, your feedback? No, I got my uh, promotion for another month. Of- oh, there you go. Remember, for seven months. Yeah. Oh, of the... Casanova Deluxe level. Woo-hoo. Doesn't really get much nicer than that. I know, man. It's pretty much downhill from it's there. It's a thin air up here. It really is. Yeah. How's it feel? Thin How's it feel? <laughs> yep. Bolt it to a guitar neck. There's some bad ones behind you. Those are templates. Those man. are templates. Oh, there's guitar necks down here. There are, yeah, but they they really aren't bad. They're just there. They're just drawn that for way. For use. Uh-huh. 
Cool. Yeah, man. You got anything else? You want your seat back, Matt? I'm starting to get nervous. <laughs> All right. Starting All right, to get I'll... panicky. Talk me down, Dylan. It's weird because when I do my own show, I have tons of things to say. And Leslie's like, why are you yeah. talking so much? We can't get through all the questions, is what she will usually say to me. Mm -hmm. And now tonight, I'm just like, I th I'm tired. Yeah. Yeah. We work, we work you hard. Well, we don't goof around. Every oh, time dude. I think I'm done, Matt brings me like some whack thing. And he's like, hey, do you think you could do this? I ain't tired. Well, I guess I could. So I do. Ugh. So... Um, hey, you're back. For, yeah, I'm back. And, um, uh, I'm better than ever, baby. The, um, so a couple of things. Um, uh, we've got some super chats. Of course, Brian Duncan, who's right here. Brian, you're going to Odyssey Beer Works for us tonight? Um, yes, so. that's a yes. Dave Hawkinson. Dave is getting one of the prototype, super thin, super carved, carved top challengers. Oh. Three pickup. Uh, uh, custom, a la custom everything. It's super, super cool. That's so funny because the other day you were like, should we do a thing with this guitar? And I was like, no, you'll never sell it. What? Oh, the Put three, three humbuckers yeah, yeah, in yeah, it? That, that yeah, one, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, Dave is, is totally switched on to the three. He, he wants and the then, three humbuckers. And then Brad uh, Guitar Miller, yes. who, who's uh, sent, you, sent you a little little yes, package. That thing is cool. Can, can you, he, he sent us a super chat too. Oh, while you're while you're opening some more of Brad's stuff, I want to tell you something. My friend Mike, and I say my friend because he is my friend. My friend Mike in Chicago is he's right there. Joy, where is he in Chicago? Brookfield. Brookfield? Lagrange. Lagrange. Okay. Why? How would you not want to go there, dude? How? 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 Yeah. So Mike's like, yeah, stop on over. Cool. So I I will put you in touch with Mike, and he's Mike's not, you know, bullshitting either. Um, if you're, if you're going to be in Chicago, I think you are close. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Mike's close to there too. So, okay. I mean, the, like how, Brookfield Zoo. Brookfield Zoo. Uh, that's right. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. so yeah, Mike's, Mike's, Mike's the man. So yeah, if you, if you got time, okay. stop over and see Mike and yeah. I can see Leslie over there, Google mapping and looking at stuff mm. right now. So. She's over there. She's over there. She's looking at like. Oh no! Apparently, she's catching up on Instagram. So I, 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 I can see it from here, and from here, it looks like you're looking up Areola Fifty One stuff. <laughs> <laughs> My eyesight isn't that great, though. All right. So, Brad Guitar Miller gave me some cool Van Halen stickers, and I really, really like the Batfish business card slash iPad slash iPhone holder. I really, really like the Challenger business card holder. And he must pay attention to my channel enough to know that I really, really, really like single, single humps. Brad's the man. Strap yeah. pickup type stuff. So he gave me one of these too. These will be put to use. I don't, so thank you. I don't know that they will hold business cards, but they will hold probably a phone on my desk while I. Brad, Brad says, Brad says store. I think he, you can go to Brad Guitar Miller's store. Yeah, he was telling me. Reverb store. Oh, there's a reverb store. All right, oh, so yeah, check cool. out. So you yeah. can order this stuff. Yes. Mike says he always makes time for the TT family. First of all, okay, okay, there's, I want to get back to Jeffrey Egan's question, but Mike really brings it all home. One of the neatest things that you and I and Chris and I and everybody who comes to one of our I hate to say classes, I really do, because it's a workshop, because yeah. you get to, you know, people aren't like it's it, you get a little bit of an education, huh, Brian? But it's mostly just me yelling at you, huh, Mark? <laughs> so yeah, um, uh, but uh, uh, <laughs> but it really is the bro uh, on on the on the headstock. It says the Brotherhood of Guitar Building mm -hmm. because that's what it is. So Mike totally gets it. He's totally switched on, and anyone who's been here is totally switched on too. Now, Jeffrey Egan asks something very poignant. Okay. Brace yourselves. I'm ready. Speaking of super thin, I think he's talking about finishes. Me? Me? Yeah. Speaking of super thin, Dylan and finishes, what do you think of the Rick beat off sig Rick, Rick, <laughs> Rick B B eight O signature double cut? What do I think of it? I think it's really cool. The color's cool. 
I love it. I think it's really neat. Yeah. I think it's really cool. You know what I like about it is it's basically TV Pelham Blue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With the grain showing through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A, a lot of people have been bashing on it because... Really? Why? Uh, well, because... I don't know who Rick, you know... I, it's yeah. a... Torn, it's yeah. a Mark, Mark was telling me some, and you were telling me something. Yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a good dude. Um, it's a, it's a $2,000 <laughs> guitar. Mm -hmm. And so I think a lot of people are think that it should be shinier. But that it should be, what, but it sold out in ninety minutes. Right. Wow. It sold out in ninety really? minutes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, you can't say anything. Plus, he's given his cut. You know, usually uh, the artist premium on a guitar like that is three, four hundred bucks, probably at that price point. Mm -hmm. He's donating it all to a children's charity for music. That's stuff, pretty cool. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Um, and the guitar is really neat. And, and I'm and a huge. I, I actually watched that video, fan. and he said, "Look, I don't want my own signature guitar." Yeah, yeah. Gibson actually came to him and said, "We right. want you to have." I do think that's this. cool. And he said no, and they said, "But if we made you, if we made yeah. you, no, I think it's now great. who knows if that's true? But why would you lie about that? Especially if you're giving all the money yeah. to charity. So yeah, I mean, he's you know, I think it's really cool. I think it's a cool guitar. I would definitely own something. Pelham Blue with P90s in it, mm -hmm. for sure. I would absolutely own something that was Pelham Blue with P90s in it, too. Yeah. Wouldn't you guys... Wouldn't you... Like to own something Pelham Blue with P90s in it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I like Pelham Blue a lot. Yeah, I do, too. In fact, I even had a, a poll oh, this did, morning oh, yeah, yeah, on, on yeah. my YouTube page where... Everything I say is right and everything you say is wrong. And it was, what is your... <laughs> Dylan's giving me the stink eye. It was, it was basically... And it was your idea to do this. because It was. Like, you, you're like, you should do a poll. I I'm told like, him. Okay. I told him, you should start doing polls on YouTube. This is during our coffee chats that we have in the I morning. I love our coffee chats. Because yeah. I stay at the Flaherty RV Resort. And, and then I go in for coffee in the morning. And um, I told him, I said, you should do polls on YouTube because you, people really like to interact about their opinions about stuff. You like, absolutely did. And, and so really today cool. I said, what's, I've, I've always wanted to know what's your favorite guitar color and why is it Pelham Blue? Yeah. So at yeah. first Pelham Blue was like 5% and now it's, it's actually, it, it, it's the last, the last time I looked, it was leading the pack. So was it? Yeah. Well, I hope that people like Pelham Blue because I hope they do it's too. a really cool color. Mm hmm I, I think it's neat. I hope they like custom. Custom yeah. blue. Yeah. Yes. Um, people. Uh, Wayne Bake says people are butt mad because you can only, because you can get other junior LPs for like 1100 You yeah. can't though. No, yeah, I don't, I don't think you can. Though. Yeah, it's not. It's yeah. See, this, here's the thing about this. And I, I get it. I get, you're right, Wayne, but, but people who are butt mad about it should not. I'm about to get on a soapbox here. Go for it. Talk some shit. I understand what he's saying, mm -hmm. but people are also going on prices from five, six, seven years ago. Ooh, everyone sucks if you don't think Dylan's right. I have, <laughs> I have a brand new. Well, it's a 2021. I bought it brand new. SG Junior that I got at the Gibson store thing. That's a cool guitar. It's a really cool guitar. It's fourteen hundred dollars. There is no Junior. Cheaper than fourteen hundred dollars. That says Gibson. That on says it. Gibson yeah. on it. Now here's the thing: that guitar is fourteen hundred bucks. Has one P ninety in it, one volume, one tone, right? Then you add a neck pickup, and you make it into a special, and you add a couple other features and a couple other more knobs. It's got a bound neck. The Rick B Beato one is yes. a bound neck. Is yours a bound neck? No. Okay. So then you go, you add a couple hundred bucks to that. So let's say the fourteen hundred dollar guitar becomes sixteen. Or $1,700, which is realistic by the time you make it into a special with another pickup and the stuff that goes along with that. Then you add the artist premium that all, all signature guitars have, and you're at $2,000 and it's 100% in line pricing. And it's a limited, it's a limited edition yes. thing. You're not just going to keep making them yes. for years. It's a, years. It's thin like an SG. Not is it like one in, one in three it's eighths? Like an SG? Yeah, it's, it's one point yeah. four seven five. Yeah, That's not a measurement. Set. You said not that, yeah, yeah. Correct. So, I think the guitar, whether you think it's too expensive or not, 
you know, based on what you would be willing to pay for it is one thing. I know we all have our own opinions about that, but where it falls in the Gibson product line and what it should cost in comparison to all their other guitars, it's dead on. 100% dead on. So, okay, again, you got to stop in and check in with Mike. I'll give you his, his okay, contact. Okay, 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 okay. But he says cool. that he, he, he's got to go, but he says that Dave Grohl made it cool again, and he did. I'm, I'm going to argue with you there, Mike, and say that Jeff LaQuatra made it cool again. Who's uh, that? Well, that's he's he's a he's a Texas Toast uh, 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 endorsed player. Oh, you've never met Jeff. He is the uh, now um, uh, Jeff has a band here, local local band that's like big big time called Mr. Majestic's A Track Revival, and like he ha they have a string section, and his string section, yeah. Played with Led Zeppelin at Red Rocks when they were here. Really? Yeah, yeah, because they're all, all from the Colorado Symphony. And Jeff is the um, uh, classical guitar. Uh, You've told he me head about of head of guy. classical the classical guitar yes, department. You at have CSU. told me about him. I've yeah, not yeah. Gotten Jeff him. is the man. And he'll be like, I don't really want to play. Yeah, and yeah, he's he's, he's yeah. You've told me about him before. Uh, it's not a contest, but Jeff is better than everybody. I, yeah. So yeah. Anyway. And you're wrong. We have and a you're wrong. Yeah, well, yeah. and we have a local guy that nobody's ever you, heard you of know, like yeah, that too. Yeah. You know, where it's just like he could play with anybody, anywhere, mm -hmm. anytime. It, yeah, we have. Yeah. yeah, and he's like 23 years old. Uh -huh. Yeah, same same kind of deal. No, that's cool. So Jeffrey Egan says Trogley got one, and it measured 1.48 thick, just like you said, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Mike asks, does the Triple J model have an artist premium? You know, no, it doesn't because we don't give Triple J any money. <laughs> <laughs> we punch him in the shoulder for everyone we saw. Hey, yeah. good job, hey. Jimmy. Hey, have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Sold another one. Oh, hey, man. you prick, yeah. Hey, we're we're all gonna go hang out with uh with Jim Jim Jimmy in, in just a few minutes, right? Cool. Yeah, man. It looks like Driddle showed up finally. Thanks for thanks for stopping in, Devin. Yeah, he's always around. I know he's always around on our side. De Devin is cool. You know yeah. what? He he's got two really. His daughters are very very young, and they're they're cutie pies. He's gonna get no sleep in the next for the next decade. <laughs> no sleep because he's always gonna be worried about like his daughters. Yeah, they're all gonna. Yeah, yeah they're gonna be. He yeah. knows too. He's oh yeah, 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 yeah. The only the only person who's in a in a worse spot than uh, Devin is my drummer Mike, mm -hmm. who's got three Real. adorable little girls, and they're like. Uh, Three to nine, and they're like uh, one cuter than the next. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm grateful to have grown children. Yep, yep, yep. So, I told him like Mike, you need to get like a 12 gauge and a really big dog and an alarm system, and <laughs> and handcuffs or, or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Cut, yeah, because th yeah, there's gonna there's gonna be little boys constantly sniffing around. I know what it was like to be a little boy. Me too. I was always sniffing. It. Yeah, so I, I, I don't have any kids. I'm glad I don't have any daughters. <laughs> I had a landlord one time when I lived in Michigan, and she was 106 when she died. Sure. And before she died, I asked her. I was like, "How did you live? So like, it is there a thing that you did?" And she said, "Yeah, I never had kids." Okay. So you're on to something. Well, well, I. I don't yeah. know if you're going to make it to 106. Bye -bye. You think he's going to make it to 106? I'm not 100% sure I'm going to make it the next 106 days. <laughs> well, we have about five to seven minutes. Five left. to 13 minutes left. Yeah. Well, so what have we forgot to tell people about, sir? Um, I want to make sure everybody knows about the Patreon thing on my Well, website. I haven't interrupted you enough times. People, people always hate it. When yeah, I don't like that. I don't care. I'm having fun. I have fun when I come here. That's all I care. I yeah, I I just wanted to do that because people you you said that people get mad when you do a video with me. I wanted to give them something to be mad about. So yeah, it's all right. Okay, it's all right. All right, I'm really gonna be. Crazy. I just hope that they comment and fight about it in the comments because comments are interaction and interaction is good. So be as mad as you want. I'll let you be mad. Um. Yeah, and I think the biggest thing that you should take away from this ridiculousness that was this last hour uh, is you need to come to one of these. And when you see these guitars tomorrow for the most highly anticipated 
reveal ever. According to Doug Seidler. According to the comment section, not us. Um, you're going to either want to come or you're going to want to figure out a way to get one of these things. Because they're really, really good. I'm, I'm taking one home. Maybe two. Maybe two. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, yeah. And I really hope that you get to participate in the poll on Matt's channel. I'm going to take it down tomorrow. No, no, I wouldn't take it down, but it's I, I a would, good pull. I would like to know what your favorite guitar color is because I know we, we, we have a very short amount of time, but it seems like there's only a handful of guitar colors that are acceptable. You know, black right. and yeah. white and red. I have a pink one and nobody some, likes it. Some blue, it, it, I, I wish green was a more popular guitar color, and I know that it is to a lot of people, but... Mm -hmm. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah see, he feels very purple, passionate about yeah. green. I like green. I love the color green, but I hate green. Yeah, color. I like green. Yeah. So, uh, and in fact, we have a new reveal t shirt tomorrow. Yes, Chris? Are we going to use those? Oh, yes, sir, we are. Okay. We might not wear them all day, but yeah, yeah. but yes, sir, we will be using those. Yeah. Oh, the, I saw that. I yeah, like right, that thing. It? Yeah. So, um, well, I, I, I love it when you and Leslie come out. And it's it's a lot of fun for me to open the shop up to people to come to workshops and uh, uh, Mark, uh, Mark, uh, yeah. So Mark, it's great. I'm I'm so glad that you were able to come out because you you had a surgery and I'm like, well, I don't know if Mark's gonna be able to come, but but he, but you did and that was super yeah. neat. Yeah. Um. Well, I I love that you are here, sir. Um. And and and. and Brian, even though you're, you know, the most annoying person I know, I love it when you no. I Brian Brian comes back out here and and Brian will come out. I love you too, man. Um, Brian comes out and he just hangs out because he's a, he's a he's a friend of 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 ours. I don't want to say friend of the shop because he's a friend. He's a personal friend of mine, and I love it when people come back to the shop and hang out with us. So, Dylan, Brian, Mark, Leslie. Um, yeah, not you, Chris, but, uh, but like pretty much like, like I, I love, it. and am I, am I right, Chris? I mean, do you, he's like, I saw that finger you gave me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but, but no, I mean, you, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not taking the piss no, I know. Yeah, I know what you're There's something about. cool about when yeah. people want to come back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, because it kind of gives us some validation that we're doing something right. Yeah. So. Oh, and somebody said I thought I was tuning. You too, in. Beth. Somebody said I thought I was tuning in to Dylan. Uh, what you is are. what is Matt's channel? Texas Toast Guitars, um, and you are watching my channel if you're over here. Yeah. Um, we're just doing it to two channels at the same time tonight because it's a special occasion. So uh, okay, so it's six o'clock, sir. Yep. Let's go ahead I'm and hungry. wrap this one up. Yep. Um, Put a bow on it. Yeah, I, um, I hope we answered everybody's questions. We will have uh, more live fun tomorrow at the reveal. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do the same format kind of thing. You know, we don't know really. Obviously, I don't do reveals because I'm not a okay. guitar brand. But I think maybe we should. No, you don't Why think not? so? I think we should do the exact same thing. Why not? Yeah. 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 Do both yeah. channels at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. you're as much a part of it yeah. as we are. Right? Yeah. All right. Well. So, yeah. Have a good time. Okay. You definitely got to show Mark's guitar, if nothing else. Oh, oh, we're showing up. We're uh, showing a bunch guitars. of guitars tomorrow. Yeah. And I'm really excited about them. And some of them are going to end up on my channel. So um, yeah. I think it's going to be really cool. I've had I've had so much fun with Build Ultimate Guitar Build with Dylan. I'm looking forward to all the workshops that we have coming up. But I'm also looking forward to one, one of them is the next one in March. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you're coming back in November. I am. To do uh, pickup winding for the... Fabric, fabric top, top class, class. yeah, so, and and that's like that's another that's a star studded event, um, like Doug and Dave, the Dangerous Brothers, and 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 um, um, Rod was an honorary Dangerous yeah. Brother. Uh -huh. uh, Mike is going to be here. Jim, 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 Doc is going to be here. Yeah. Um, yep. um, th there's a lot of people who are going to be here for that week, and it's and and you know what? Every single one of these is like gets bigger and bigger, and it's bigger than me. And it's bigger than this shop, and it's bigger than than Chris. It's just a little bit bigger than Chris. It's way bigger than me. But, but the 
the people who come out here really make this cool. It's and fun. You guys could be part of that too. So yeah, yeah I hope it's that awesome. Do. It's awesome. Do. I guess we will see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow for the reveal. So thanks for watching, you guys. Ah, uh, we will see you tomorrow afternoon.